was side designed, the proper lights, with no intention in mind of what product it was, it was going to be. It was more an exp, 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 exploration of shape and form. Um, then from that, I kind of saw that the shape was becoming a light, and then I researched into materials and found that recycled aluminium was an exciting thing to place back into a an old-fashioned manufacturing technique, which is spinning, spinning metal. The aluminium industry uses a lot of electricity, and that can be sometimes be a, a disappointing factor, especially when the material is such a good material to work with and um, its longevity as well. So when I started to look towards using aluminium, I thought using recycled aluminium would be a, a better approach. And then from that, to keep the recycled aluminium to be re-recycled, I wanted to look towards a, a bioglazed powder coat finish so it wouldn't affect the re-recyclability of the, the design. Sticks and Stones is inspired by two elements from a Japanese rock garden, a naturally worn skipping stone and the sharp vertical stems of bamboo. It's made from uh, selvaged tassie oak dowel, that's the legs, and the top which is a cast uh, seat top, is, is made from recycled rubber crumb, glass fibres and a, a gypsum base composite. The dollop is inspired by a dollop of cream coming off a spoon. I wanted to create an asymmetric lampshade which was perfectly balanced. It's illuminated by a, a 3 watt LED, so low power consumption uh, and, the, and the direct, very bright light source is hidden from view. In the gallery days I spent uh, basically waiting around for people. I actually developed the poly homewares which was basically forming the material into balls and swirling the colours so you could create different dynamic forms and each piece would be completely unique. It comes in a pellet form and then it's melted with hot water and then the colour is actually stretched through the, the white colour itself and then it's hand formed into mould so this all takes place within, can take place within a common household. So this is the OFW poly. It's, um, it stands for Organic Food Waste Poly. Last year, a friend of mine gave me a, a box full, a full of organic waste, and Joyce Backer had actually um, given it to me to develop something from. So basically, it's all the waste from my poly home wares, and then I fold in all this organic food waste and to create these planters. The idea is they're completely temporary objects. They're made for plants, and then once it actually biodegrades, as the material is 100% biodegradable, the whole thing returns back into the environment. It's called the Standard Lamp. It's made from reclaimed Australian hardwood and limestone. Um, the limestone comes from South Australia, in the southeast of uh, South Australia, on the limestone coast. Um, the limestone is a completely natural material, cut straight out of the ground, um, and then it's turned using a traditional wood lathe. Um, it can be turned to achieve different ranges of smoothness in the final finish, and the timber is all uh, reclaimed Tasmanian oak. It's inspired just by using natural materials uh, with minimal manufacturing processes, and yeah, it's all made locally in Victoria. So the, the, work, the work that we're looking at here, it's called Mount Pleasant Street. Um, it's a house that's just around the corner from where I used to live. The work itself, it's made out of laminate. I call them um, laminate paintings. Um, you know, sometimes refer to it as Laminex, although Laminex is just a brand name, really. In fact, this piece contains a number of different laminates from a number of different lamin laminate manufacturers. Um, and you can see the, the different time periods and the different manufacturers, they have different thicknesses. And what it is, it's actually inlaid, inlaid laminate. Um, so finely cut laminate that's um, cut, sanded back and fit together to make the, uh, the image that we're, that we're looking at.